So I'm Kevin Gillespie. I'm the chef and owner of Redbeard Restaurants, pretty much all in Atlanta, Georgia, Gun Show, Revival, Communion, Terminus City, and now a partner in Kudu Safari Bride. Here's the nickel tour of the kudu, what makes it the kudu. So first of all, obviously, it's the big base. Everybody sees that, where it says kudu and kind of the laser cuts. We're talking about heavy gauge steel right here. So this is not flimsy aluminum. This is not something that's gonna melt on you in a year. This is something that's going to really hold up for a lifetime. The original brides were actually made out of old like plow discs. like. And so we're talking super heavy stuff, and that's what we've modeled it after. We've made it a little bit more, um, you know, 21st century, but still talking heavy and substantial. Obviously, we have our legs, and what's cool about the legs is that the legs screw in kind of to another leg. And so what that means is that if you want to set this down on the beach and have it all the way down on the ground uh, or a campfire, it does that great, but you screw the legs into it, it pops up, and it's a much nicer height to cook at. And so you have that flexibility as well as self-leveling legs. When you start looking at it, I think the thing that people are gonna notice first is they're gonna see these two metal rods that stick off the side. They're gonna go, I don't understand, what's that for? The easiest way to explain this is that that rod is what creates for you an infinite amount of travel in your cooking surface. For a long time, frankly, for many, many more years, we learned as cooks that the way to control temperature was distance away from the heat source. And so what happens is that these two posts allow you to raise and lower and then pivot side to side dual cooking surfaces. So out of the box, you're gonna get uh, a grill grate and it's already gonna have diamond pattern on it, which is great for two reasons. One, those perfect grill marks that everybody goes, how in the world do you get those? Well, you don't even have to try, just lay it on there. Two, because of that diamond pattern, you're gonna lose a lot less food. So a traditional grilling surface, you try to throw some asparagus or green beans on there, it's very likely you might lose half of those to the grill, uh, and it's just a little bit more difficult to deal with. This makes a flatter, nicer, more even cooking surface. You're also gonna get kind of a metal ring, and inside that ring, what we're gonna include is a nice, heavy cast iron pan, a fairly shallow cast iron pan. I like to call it a plancha. Basically, a steel plate that allows you to roast, to saute, to fry, to sear, that iron plate cooking is something that's tremendously underutilized here in the United States. I mean, for years I was having to take a frying pan and set it on my grill, but then I ran out of grill. Now I have an opportunity to be able to do both at the same time. And again, we're going from everything from searing, it's sitting basically right above the fire, to I can take the pan basically all the way up to the top and cook perfect sunny side up eggs and pancakes in it while I grill sausages and smoke bacon. I don't know of any other system that you can do that at the exact same time. Yes, maybe you can make breakfast on your grill at home, but I bet you have to do one thing at a time. Here, I'm making four things at the exact same time. And I personally can't think of anything else that's available right now that's gonna do that for you, that's gonna be so rewarding on a cookery level to give back what you put into it. And that's what makes Kudu special.